Okay. I think here we are. I think we are live. I think. It's the first time I do it. Ever. So this means there might be a few technical problems. Um, I can see already it's kind of lagging. Uh, so it will be a bit delayed. The comments will be a bit delayed. But I don't think it, it matters that much. Um, I just want to be sure that it's actually streaming. I will go to another page. Uh, I mean, I'll open another tab, same pa Facebook page, um, and yeah, it seems it's going. Yeah, I can. Let's see if I can see myself. It's a bit weird, but I think I can. But I think it lags a lot. I'm not sure if you can understand me. It's very, very slow. I can see myself. It's a bit weird. But I think I can. But I think it lags a lot. I think the audio is okay. I'm not sure if you can understand me. It's very, very... Um, it doesn't look that bad on my, on my video. Uh, anyway... Join Rosan, or maybe there's someone uh, watching it. If there is someone watching it, um, comment something, say something. <laughs> um, so the, the game will start in 10 minutes. Maybe there is time to discuss briefly uh, for the people who don't know. So this is the Hive Online Championship 2019. Um, is a online championship uh, played on uh, boardspace.net every year for the past I don't know, maybe 15 years, I'm not sure. Um, since 2013, uh, when the peelback was, in, was included, um, then all the tournaments, all the games are played with a peelback as well. So all the games contain all the expansions. Um, now we... Mm, so today should be the semi-final. Uh, one of the games in the semi-final. Hello, okay. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> um, I, I'm so sorry the quality of this video would be really bad. Um, but hopefully at least the game uh, will be shown clearly. And the audio at least is good. Um, I need to work a bit with OBS and uh, my laptop. Um, but anyway. Um, so I'm Francesco, first of all. Uh, you can find me on Board Game Arena as Frasco. Um, I've been playing it for the past three years. Um, I like it quite a lot, and I think more people uh, would enjoy it, but some people don't know how to find other people, where to play, how to improve. Um, so, um, so I thought this group was a good idea to gather as many people as possible. Um, and today we are looking at the quadlibet quadlibet Lloyds, um, two very very strong players. Quadlibet, um, his real name is uh, Christian, uh, is from Chile, and uh, he won the championship two times uh, so far, two edition, including last year. So is the the current world champion. Um, Lloyds is from Brazil, is also a very strong player. Um, I'm not sure, I think it's the first time he got to the semi final, at least in the past two or three years. I think he has played uh, a lot in the past 10 years, but um, like 10 years ago, sorry. And then he stopped and then he came back again three years, two or three years ago. Anyway, so it will be a very interesting game, and, and I will try to kind of explain um, um, explain the, the, the strategy behind it, and try to comment uh, how the game as the game goes on. Uh, but if you have any kind of requests, anything interesting, also let me know if the quality is really crap, because next time I'll try to. I'll try to 
do something with it. So the idea is you see on the main s um, the main screen. Uh, sorry. So um, yeah, on the main screen on the left, you should see the game. Well, this one is just an, the um, the previous uh, game, but you you will see the new game um, when it starts. And on the top right side, you will see another uh, board. Well, another window where I was thinking I could um, replay the game and uh, check the different variations as the game goes on, so to comment uh, in another window, so you can have at the same time the game and some comments. Um, and there's my face there, but that's not <laughs> that's not important. Um, I'm in London, so here is 5 p.m. Uh, but they're playing both in South America, so I'm not sure. But there should be, I mean, uh, there must be like six hours uh, difference, or something like that. Um, can you, like, can anyone say if you can hear? Can you hear me clearly? Maybe, probably they they they, they left anyway. So the game should start in five minutes. Um, we'll see. I don't know what else I can say. Mm, hear me clearly. Okay. I don't know when I when I look at it. Like when I look at the video on my screen, it doesn't look too bad. But let's see if I try to move pieces. If it's too bad. Uh, There is a bit of lag, yeah, for sure. But anyway, um, <laughs> okay, sound is good. Okay, the video is crap. I know. <laughs> I'm not sure. It might be the internet connection here, or just I don't know the resolution that I set is too high. Anyway. Um, what else? I hope the vi this video will be entertaining, or at least interesting. Um, a lot of people um, join lately, and it seems... Uh, I mean, the game, I think, is very enjoyable at first, like, a lot of people like it uh, immediately, but somehow get stuck, uh, especially if you play always with the same people. Um, like with the same one, two friends, as happened to me at the beginning, then it's it's hard to improve, like uh, understand um, a deeper strategy. Because as any game, the important thing is uh, see at see how different people employ different strategies, and um, really in the past three years, every year every championship that I played, basically people came up with new ideas and I thought, okay, this game, yeah, it, it, it's very nice, but maybe it's not as deep as chess, yeah, probably, for sure, uh, but it's still very, very complicated and, and I'm sure in, in the next years um, it, will be, it will be studied more and more. There's a very good book uh, for people who want to uh, want to start to uh, get the more deep in the game and from Randy Ingersoll I think this is the only well there are other books but this is really the bible of Hive um, and there is literally everything um, from the beginning from easy uh, strategy tactics um, to more um, complex stuff um, and very soon, um, I mean very soon, we don't know actually when exactly, but Judoka, one of the previous one world champion, will release a book, um, actually apparently a series of books, uh, two, three books, um, but the first one should come out uh, quite, uh, quite soon, in, in the next months, apparently, and uh, we're quite uh, eager to, to know what's going on. Okay, uh, so 
both players have joined um, have joined the room so I have to waste that they I will have joined them um, the board space net uh, area but some uh, at this point they will join the room soon where they play together so if you don't know it works on boardspace.net there are a lot of rooms and you can enter a room and um, play different games once they join the room then I can join as well as a spectator so I will show you um, the the board um, as spectator and everyone with me um, just a few seconds hopefully um, I can show you but they are just saying uh, good luck to each other um, okay I can spectate now I just have to 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 find the room so or to to find a way to connect this okay sorry for that I need to add another window okay ta -da. we did it fantastic the first live streaming ever for Hive really proud of it okay um, so let's start to comment a bit um, so Quadlibet plays white um, Lloyd is playing black so the typical opening here with um, with the ladybug this is very common um, th the reason is where, what's happening sorry I'm not sure what's oh, okay what's going on um, done okay so the pill bug for people who were asking um, I'm trying to reply re replay the game here um, for the people asking oh what's up okay yeah sorry black is playing here white is playing here no, here okay um, so this is a very typical defense for black F this is something that has not been played very uh, often before last year I think because usually I mean at the beginning people thought that um, well if you play peel back too early then your opponent can use a beetle placing a beetle um, here for example and uh, uh, go on top of the hive and cover the, the peel back very very easily um, this turned out to be not actually the case so it's possible but black um, gets something in return no, no. Um, um, the important thing as you can see is first of all place your ants and mosquitoes that's the first like rule of the of a hive uh, of the opening at least um, this is because the ants are the most flexible piece and they can move anywhere um, and so at the beginning you don't know exactly uh, where the spider should go or where the grasshopper should go especially grasshopper you, you, it's not very easy to understand because there's not much choice uh, it, it just goes straight line um, while of course the hand has a lot more choice um, and uh, 
in that you can choose um, depending on the situation. So what is uh, doing here Lloyd, for example, playing the spider? Why did he play the spider here? So there are, in this case, there is a, like a, a double, um, a du a two ideas at the same time. So one is to replace the pin. Replace means, so the ant is spinning this white ant. Um, can you see the, the cursor? Yeah, I think so. Um, you can, you, the, this uh, black ant is spinning the white ant. Um, but it's much better if one one of your bugs um, of low lower importance um, and less important bug like a spider would replace an ant. So that means that in that case the the ant your ant will be will become free. At the same time, this is threatening to pin this ant here. So what I mean, what Quadlibet could do, for example, now is just pinning the spider. So you might think that black has not achieved much. Uh, but what does achieve is at next turn it can just play an uh, ant here. And so black has again two basically two ants. Um, and uh, these two ants are pinned, so it's even. Um, and if this ant moves, then the spider will do the replacement that we were talking about, and then black has an ant, another ant uh, again, uh, free. Um, another interesting thing to comment is um, a typical um, structure that you can see here is called a pocket. This is very important, uh, and, and you can see in lots of games. Um, the idea is that the the bug that is in in the, in the in the pocket, in this case the white mosquito, cannot be pinned in in any cannot be pinned. That's it. Um, so this means that black has to be careful because this white mosquito can actually go anywhere. Um, this is a structure that both player white and black can uh, can use. Okay, so Quadlibet played actually uh, this move. Um, I, I don't know if it's the best one, uh, probably not. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, it's interesting, but let's see. Okay, so Lloyd is playing a black hand here. Not Not clear yet. So once you play, you have to click on the button done that you probably see there. Um, so until you... Am I new to Hive? Your background uh, streams out there. Uh, I think I'm the first streamer. There are videos on YouTube by Randy Ingersoll, very useful. Um, I really advise to have a look at those, um, where he prepare very a much prettier videos um, <laughs> than this one um, and explains very clearly some concepts uh, but I think I, it's the first time I stream live um, ever so uh, Lloyd played yet yeah, ant here and quadly bet is trying to replace um, the pin as black was doing basically um, okay so l what Lloyd is going to play here I'm not sure, but it sounds a reasonable idea. I'm not, um, I'm not sure, but okay, the idea behind this is um, basically there are three ways to uh, counterattack, uh, to neutralize the pillback. So the first one is just to cover it with a beetle. That's the easiest one, but that's the one <coughs> everyone is aware of, and so usually you are well prepared to pin your opponent build back before uh, your opponent beetles sorry before it happens another uh, way is just to surround completely the build back because if it's completely surrounded it cannot move any bug and the other way the third way that um, is also quite common is use your own mosquito to move the peel bug with this ability so just let's say okay quite a little bit put it this Okay, in this case it can happen, but if if he had played this, um, Lloyd could just remove the pillback from here, and this is a kind of 
yeah um, another technique to neutralize the build value you should be aware of but uh, playing this um, quadly bet prevent prevented because now the pill bag is pinned it would break the hive into um, so Lloyd's just goes for the, the the normal not the normal but the, the easiest way of sorry that is put your beetle on top of the hive and cover that damn pill bag <laughs> um, you know um, some people might not know but for some time I think it's still still now um, has been discussed a lot the advantage of the first player so white um, goes first as many other games uh, he has a tiny advantage but depending on the, the game some games there's a bigger advantage and in some cases smaller and um, before the pill bug was introduced um, everyone well m a lot of people a lot of players um, found the white advantage very quite big so a bit unfair um, probably because the combination of, of the ladybug and the mosquito was fatal was lethal um, but since the pillbag was introduced so the main idea was to have a, a defensive mainly defensive bug um, to kind of balance the game <laughs> and um, but white still should be should have a tiny advantage uh, in this case, like in this game, um, actually black is kind of attacking now. What's happening? Oh, I'm I'm losing. Okay, so um, Lloyd's managed to to cover the the peel back, but white has has placed another beetle so that it can just go on top of the other the, of the black beetle, um, and there is another mosquito here ready. So that means that they can cover each other, cover each other, uh, and they might end up in this situation um, here, which is uh, usually good for black because this space here can be used for a direct drop. That means that from the reserve you can directly play something there. As you usually you need two two tempos, two moves to attack, you place and then move towards the opponent um, queen. In this case will be just one move, so it's it's useful. But um, you also kind of lose one of your uh, pieces to attack because it will be stacked in the um, blocked in the stack of, of beetles. So the other idea could be just to play here. Oops, sorry. What's the, what's the turn? Oh, okay. Play here, for example. No, okay. Um, probably Lloyd is the decides to go for the variation we we just seen. Um, the other idea, yeah, would be to play here. Uh, of, there is no direct drop anymore, uh, but the pill bug is neutralized forever. Um, however, since Black doesn't have many other pieces in play. It might be a bit dangerous because the mobility of white mobility means lots of free pieces, uh, free to, free to move, uh, ants and mosquitoes. Um, compared to black, mobility is very low, and this is not good for for black. So at least black tries to yeah introduce um, a beetle. Uh, sorry, uh, a bag directly here. Um, so this is another kind of matter of debate. At least when I start playing, um, I thought that oh, okay, my pill bug is covered. Fuck, or my queen um, is covered by a beetle. I'm lost. Um, and then I I learned in many games that it's actually not true. Um, so yeah, it's true. White um, queen is covered, but in return, um, white has two mobile hands. And that means that with these two ants can pin new pieces uh, as as soon as they they get uh, placed on the board on the on the field. Um, and uh, yeah, for example, if Lloyd's, Lloyd's now Louis now plays the black ant here or wherever, it will just get pinned. 
Um, so black has to find a way to to place his pieces. Uh, at least he, ha he has to sacrifice a couple of bugs. Uh, there's no other way. Uh, and then the third bug that he places will be free to move. Um, I'm not sure what suggests to be honest because uh, the ant, especially playing the ant here, I don't, I don't like it very much uh, because of another concept that is a bidirectional pin. So this means that this ant is just dies forever, and this white ant instead can be free if uh, well, let's say this is pin, um, and well I don't know, just play a random move if white can place a bug here then this white ant is released um, while this black ant that was like the correspondent ant is instead is dead um, so I don't like that place that much honestly, but I'm uh, not sure, there might be other ideas um, so if black plays um, an ant here or he or let's say here, um, white create a gate, this gate. Um, this means that ants or spiders or beetles cannot crawl in here. So you need to use um, a bug able to jump in order to reach this, this hexagon here, this spot. And um, there is a very common defensive strategy. And it's particularly effective here because white has more free pieces than black. Um, the same happens if you place here. You can create, well, yeah, you can uh, pin here, and this is a, a gate. Um, so I'm not actually sure. Black seems already not very, yeah, this might be an idea. Just trying to attack with other bugs. Mm. And then uh, keep an ant, uh, keep the ant free for later, like placing the ant later on. Mm. The the other idea, yeah, that maybe Lois is thinking about is mm, so let's say Lois plays here. Oh, sorry, here. And he manages to play. Uh, I don't know. Let's say here. Um, mm, no, I'm not sure what I was thinking. Uh, no, I was thinking this. So if white plays here, mm, black can play here, and um, now this spot cannot be pinned by anything. Um, but it means you have to sacrifice two bugs in order to just place one here, which I think is something black cannot afford right now. <laughs> so, um, this is another possible idea, but maybe it's too early for that. So, let's say white has two ants, uh, Quadlibet has two ants free. Uh, black has an ant and a beetle that can kind of sacrifice, and then has three. Grasshopper plus Ladybug to cover three spaces. Well, and we have to consider this uh, black mosquito on top. So uh, the position is not bad for black, but he needs to think how to place his pieces because if he plays in a in a way that everything gets pinned, then the game goes very bad very soon. Um, so okay, sacrifice. Lloyd sacrificed the beetle in order to probably play um, a grasshopper there. Um, oh, we have uh, we have a lot of other people joining. Great, amazing! I didn't think people would actually join it. Christian, what do you think? There is another Christian here, um, aka. Eucalyx, and um, I don't know if you'll be happy if I talk about him, but he's a really strong player and also a very friendly man. Um, we discussed a lot of time about Hive, 
and he beat him this he beat me um in the in the quarters no it wasn't quarters well in in the knockout phase this year um the next year i promise christian i'll beat you anyway sorry <laughs> back to the game um so yeah lloyd's actually played the grasshopper and what white can do um so as we said it, it can pin here um so this becomes a gate but still so the thing is this uh, black mosquito can just drop in any of these three spaces um so actually one gate is not enough to defend because having one on only one gate means that in that gate this mosquito will go easily Okay, the, the, the game is, is going on. What's happening? Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Quasly best decide not to pin. The idea also is that as the pill bag is still alive, um, attacking immediately means that in the next, in the next turn um, white will be able to just remove this grasshopper and place it somewhere else um, it's probably still uh, it's interesting that white doesn't have a good space where to so let's say white uh, yeah goes on with the idea of covering the queen if if black plays uh, oh no sorry I'm um, I'm wrong. Uh, so if white, uh, white cannot move the grasshopper right now, because the rule is you cannot move with the pill bag a uh, bag that has just moved in the previous uh, turn. But let's say play this thing and uh, Lloyd's plays. I'm not sure something something like this. Let's say um, maybe it's not that useful, but let's say a ladybug. Um, Quadlibet can move the grasshopper in three different spaces, but if it moves here, it just it is another uh, spot next to the queen. So it might be useful somehow because the pill bag now is free. Then is free to move here. Um, but if it goes here, if it moves the grasshopper here, then it can again attack. And if he moves the grasshopper here, then the black ant is released, and then it can just go anywhere or just pin this white ant. Uh, oops, sorry. Let's go back to the game. What's happening? Uh, so Quadibet played here, probably to create a gate, uh, or re played here and release the ladybug. I'm not sure. Um, and Lloyd is thinking about covering now the pill bug because I said, as I said. Um, is still alive and can contribute to the defense. I'm not sure there is a either of these spots where the pillback and move the grasshopper is actually very good, but it's better not to leave a choice anyway. And yeah, and also uh, once you cover this pillback, this um, hexagon here becomes good for black. And he can directly place a piece there, um, which is kind of it might be useful playing a ladybug there, for example. Um, so the, the white is basically playing for the control of the hive from from the outside. Sorry, um, he's saying, okay, I'll leave you attack my queen, um, but if I can defend and control the hive from outside and black runs out of bags then then yeah there's there's not much to do for black and white can then counter attack um that's the idea but if blacks of course manage to uh, to attack efficient effectively first then it's game over for white way after my bed you in australia oh <laughs> thank you christian sorry <laughs> Oh right, in Australia. Oh my God, it's really late there. I'm so sorry. Um, a very 
an awesome thing of Hive, um, at, at, le at least of this Hive community online, is that, um, of course, people playing from every part of the world, and uh, they have to, of course, they don't play in person, so they can play a dif in different. They can be in different time zone, and so one of them plays at 4 a.m. in the morning and the other one plays at 10 p.m. at night so it's it's, it's fantastic um, of course you try to play at a comfortable time <laughs> um, and yeah for example there was a judoka dube the other semi-final a few days ago uh, but um, but it was at a weird time for me like 2 a.m. and I said I I really love to comment th on that as well, but it was too bad for me. <laughs> uh, I need to, need to work and wake up. Anyway, um, if if you have also any any other question, uh, once in a while I, I have a look at the chat um, and I try to answer. Like my my um, level is not my my strength is not has this players of course so um, they might well, I'm sure they have a lot of faults way they calculate way more uh, effectively than I do and then I can explain now uh, but I'll try to answer your question as the best I can so white played uh, grasshopper here creating a ring this is another amazing thing about hive pieces are not are never taken are never removed from the board uh, but um, they are pinned and can be released at some point can be free um, and one of one way to to free them is for example creating a ring in this case um, white cannot release any of these two the ant or the ladybug because both of them are in this uh, bi-directional pin this kind of X, no, so Y, let's say, y, y shape, so that means that you are pinned from two different directions, and um, I, yeah, you can't, it's hard to release. Um, how white would release this ladybug? Because one of, as I said, this is ladybug that started the game, and the idea usually is that at some point, if you manage to release the ladybug, then everything is much, much better for the first player. Um, it can counter-attack, so it, go, it can go here, or it can just uh, go like uh, outside the hive somewhere, and um, it makes things much better for, for, uh, for white, or for that player anyway, um, regardless of the color. But if we can't, then it's kind of a problem. First, because the ladybug is quite strong, so you could have used it somewhere else, of course. Um, and second, because yeah, you need to release it to <laughs> to to defend. Now, the the white queen is um, attacked. Uh, so four uh, spots out of six are um, are already covered, and black still has four bugs to play plus the mosquito on top of the hive. So it has quite good chances to win, I would say. Quadlibert has to be very, very careful. How's the time control? I didn't say that, um, but the, the, the game is played with a um, time control of, um, okay, I'm not sure, I think 15 minutes? So th the thing is, it, you don't have it's not uh, like um, chess tournaments, for example, where you have a fixed time for each player. Uh, but you can use all the time you want as long as you as you are below 20 minutes, I think, or 15 minutes uh, more than your opponent. So now, la now you can see in the screen Lloyd's is four minutes up. Um, no, okay, sorry. Now a quadlibet time is going, so the Lloyd's time, time surplus, time difference is going down. Um, so yeah, Lloyd's played this move in the end. What are quadlibet alternatives here? Um, 
So the gra grasshopper here can go in this spot. Okay. The thing is, I, if I was black, I would prefer to cover this spot. Well, you can't cover this spot because the ladybug will be will be free to move because you create another connection here. That was actually uh, the idea behind the creation of this ring. So the rings are rings are bad is is a typical <laughs> saying um, and but as one of the videos of uh, Randy says rings are bad except when they are good of course um, and a good ring means that you, only you can release the ring or your opponent can release the ring but he, with a bad outcome for him um, in this case, these two pieces are buried under pil uh, under beetles and mosquitoes, and these four pieces are white, so only white can can move them. And s and so as as soon as black plays here attacks here, the ladybug can can escape, and um, and this will increase a lot white's chances to 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 win. Uh, another interesting idea about the playing the pill bag uh, early is that it's likely to be very close to your opponent queen so that means that it's not only defensive but also offensive I think that's one of the reasons why it has become more and more popular so Lloyd knows that and he wants to cover this spot as last the last one so if black plays here, then how can he cover the last spot? Um, let's think about it. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not sure, uh, but let's say white doesn't want to. Mm, let's say white. Okay, sorry. Let me see. Oh, okay, no, Ranger Soul entered the uh, as spectator as well. Um, so if white, let's say pin, just easy. Let's uh, consider that pins this uh, grasshopper. What black would do? He can occupy, try to uh, occupy this uh, spot um, with another grasshopper, but it would be pinned. And the spider is not e the spider. Yeah, is released, but it's not that useful. Yeah, you can pin this ant. Actually, mm, actually, it's not that bad. The idea is that we, if we pin this, and you place another bug here, then the grasshopper is free to move. But let's say we don't want to waste another grasshopper that easily. Um, you can attack from here. And but oh, okay, but we said we don't want to cover that spot. Uh, it's not easy, not easy at all. Mm, the other idea, as I was saying, is trying to um, surround the pill bag completely, and once you surround the pill bag completely, then you don't have to worry about it anymore and um, you can use this mosquito here for example at some point not not now uh, but at some point the problem is that black has to find a way to cover this to like take this spot as well um, hmm. so what I would play what would I play if I was black as you see now, <coughs> another um, it's like a stream of consciousness. Sorry, I didn't like I can't organize anything, but I go as I as I see as as ideas come to my mind. Another thing is at the beginning, hands and mosquitoes very important, but once the the, the hive becomes clumped and and creates this gate structures, um, rings, etc. Grasshopper become more and more important. Um, 
So uh, if black plays an ant, plays an ant here, for example, um, it's not even like necessary necessary to pin it because it's not threatening anything. I mean, I will still pin it, of course. If you have if you have a free mosquito here, why not? Um, but black would be able to play here, for example, and now you have to again to pin the, the black grasshopper. Um, and if you don't have like you have three hands, but I wouldn't leave the beetle go because once it goes on top, a second play, a second piece on top of the hive is. It's, it will become quite hard for white to to counterattack to defend. Um, so you could use this ant, but then this spot is uh, taken by this grasshopper. So again, the mosquito basically have to, has to go back, and black would go here. Let's say something like this. So again, white manages to. To make the ladybug to let the ladybug free, and there are two spots here, um, but everything basically spinned for black, and um, yeah, and the only the only piece here is a ladybug, and if black can play this ladybug uh, like easily, we have to be pinned. Uh, then it will be good for for him. Um, let's go back to the game. Let's see what Christian Christian, aka Quadlibet, played here. Okay, let's try to understand what's the what's the idea behind it. Um, so let's say Black takes this spot, which seems reasonable. Uh, black doesn't have a way to. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Black doesn't have a way to win immediately. Um, so white has one more move, basically, to try to free this this um, ladybug somehow. Um, the problem is, I was thinking about this. But black would just win moving the pillbug. So you can't do that. Um, it's quite hard for quality bets now. Let's see, there are other comments on Facebook. Or no. Uh, thanks for, uh, for me to see the analysis board. Ah, okay. Sorry. Bigger board. You're right. Um, okay, I tried to make it bigger. Okay, I hope it's okay. Sorry. Um, yeah, maybe next time I put the commentary a bit bigger and the other one smaller. Um, okay, so quality bet play here. Oops, oops, things are going very fast. I don't know what's ha what's going on. Uh, ah, okay, place a, a ladybug here. And quadribet pinned. Okay. So it's Lloyd's turn. Oh no, sorry, it's quadribet turn again. So again, okay. As I said, the the the, um, the pillbox now is surrounded. And um at the same time, the interesting thing is that um there are two ways for black to win. So white cannot stop black. So white can uh, pin here, uh, but it will win playing with the mosquito as a, as a ladybug here for example um, and there's no way to stop this mosquito basically that yeah you can't do anything so great game for for black Floyd's congratulations um, they're having a little break um, so they probably um, continue in uh, five they, they, I mean, they will have another game. So, I, what I didn't say is that the semi-finals are played at the best of six games. Uh, and they played already the first two games, um, one, um, one each. 
uh, one for Quadilibert, one for Lloyds, and um, now Lloyds won again, so it's leading two to one. Um, so they have to play three more games, and they probably play another game in five minutes. So um, I I won't stop the live video because I think it was a mess to get it back to 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 would be a mess to get it back, but. Um, Feel free to come back in five minutes if you want to. Um, and um, I can get out of this uh, room. They will use another room. Uh, and here I can turn this off. Um, Ah, okay, not too bad for the first time. Um, very intense game. So now um, we should see another game, but with uh, reverse colors. So white, um, white for Lloyd's and black for Quadlibet. So let's take. This was the first game. We can quickly rewatch it. Uh, just in the meanwhile. <laughs> Oh no, sorry, I'm not sure. No, I'm not showing anything. I I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> let me let me change this setups. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, and um, as you can see here, this is the um, the main uh, uh, hall of boardspace.net this app anyone can download it and play usually there are not many players uh, except for the online championship uh, but there are tons of other games you can play and I will be happy to play uh, live uh, with anyone who wants to play it's just it's hard to have um, to, to schedule a game with other with people on the other end of the world um, so I'll show quickly the, this is the first game Lloyd's Quadlibet I won't comment much I would probably my idea was to prepare a proper video to upload on YouTube where I comment on this kind of games of master players um, of the high of the online championship and but I didn't find time to do it and I hope I can do it uh, soon at some point um, how did this game end? I don't even remember I think Lloyd's won this game oh no, Quadlibet won, won sorry anyway, back to so let's wait. Ah, I feel like okay. W I, I probably then upload this video on YouTube, and this like dead time in between the games. Um, you can just skip, go on, go forward, uh, fast forward. Um, I could cut the video actually. Um, but I don't think I will because I'm quite lazy. Um, is there anyone? Brilliant game, yeah. Uh, mosquito move was the preparation ladybug move beforehand. Was very sneaky and hard to spot. We could actually have a look at it again. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, actually, he, pl he played the. F you last move very fast um, so yeah this idea uh, was was hard to yeah actually it was not easy to spot because it seems that okay that but can be pinned who cares um, but this is that dead, deadly um, so maybe white can improve here I'm not sure how but I don't understand this Either Quadribet just kind of gave up when he played uh, 
like he was hoping for a mistake by black uh, because I don't see much the point of this move um, I, I really like the ring the ring idea but it's probably not enough in this situation so where did black where did white go wrong hmm hard to say um, as I said I don't think leaving the beetle going on top of the hive I mean uh, I'll try to avoid it if I can. Um, especially here, you can probably avoid in this way. You can prevent it in this way. So yeah, I, you just release the ant, but but at least the beetle is. So okay. Uh, let's say black ant goes here. I think it's still playable, and white can still try to make this nice ring. Um yeah, maybe. But if white is okay with that, let's uh, how did the game the game went okay. The game went this way. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm making a mess. Okay. So white decides that it's it's good enough to have another beetle to cover, which is which is usually okay, but in this case, like if there is this kind of attack, mosquito plus beetle, this means that it's basically two beetles against one, and it's not that good anymore. Um, maybe. Mm, I think so far is okay. Hmm. Okay, no, this is this is still okay. Hmm. So I'm not sure, Christian. What do you think? What would be the best way to to um, to defend with white? Maybe you don't have to let this black grass operate to go in but another grasshopper will go there at some point uh, or just uh, just um, an ant yeah mm. yeah let's see we're in this situation still Still kind of okay for, for, for white, I think. Um, white as again a mosquito as oh okay sorry maybe I should go back uh, they are about to start and um, sorry so we're playing now low is squad bit and I enter the room. Uh, Sorry, just a second. No. No. Okay, sorry, tournament game. Okay, here we are. Um, Lloyd is playing um, spider opening, which is something that at this level nowadays is very uncommon, very unusual. Um, oops, oops, they're uh, going too fast for me. No. Uh, okay, this is a typical setup for black. Okay. So, uh, th as I said, this is typical for black, um, because you have two ants and mosquito next to each other. Um, very flexible, very easy to defend. Um, the, the two queens are um, in a, what is called a Z configuration, because uh, they are on 
different sides like if you imagine this line uh, that connects the first two bugs uh, they are on opposite side, sides um, compared to a C opening last game was also a Z opening I uh, didn't say that um, but or now the first big um, decision is do you pin this beetle or not and Quadribet decides not to pin it just as the last game basically increasing your mobility and uh, this mosquito is anyway placed very well again as you can see in a pocket uh, last game white played this pocket uh, which was qu still quadribet Christian um, so that mo this mosquito can defend as soon as the beetle goes on top so let's say one two moves mosquito is already there and can go can go on top of the, bo the beetle um, as it was a beetle of course um, so this is usually okay this is another way to place the um, the, the pillback that is very common very solid so there are there will be one two three four different uh, spots where to place the pill bug if you want to defend um, of course like white now doesn't need to defend but at some point if black keeps all this mobility um, it will be able to to pin the white uh, the white queen let's say uh, no uh, this interface sometimes is really bad. So let's say white just plays this. Black pins here. Now white doesn't have a choice. Uh, if he wants to play the pill bug, he has to play. It. Well, it's not really true. He can play here as well. But if you want to keep it close to your queen, you have to play here. If you played earlier, you have more choice. And the idea behind placing the pill bug. Um, no, sorry placing the peel bug here is that um, you'll probably see later so mm, first of all if a beetle goes on, on covers the, the white queen uh, there's no spot around here that is um, good for a direct placement a direct drop from the reserve because even if the color of this hexagon changes um, all these four are covered by the white uh, beetle and the white spider this is not true if the beetle goes there uh, the bill bug goes here uh, because if a beetle goes here as happened in the last game it can place as you remember it plays the spider here um, of course now it's too it seems too early to think about it uh, but it's something that Oops, no, no, here. No, sorry. Uh, uh, white. No, okay, never mind. Here. Um, so it's something that y you have to kind of think about. Um, of course, you don't need to think about that that early. Uh, but when you become stronger and stronger, yeah, you have, you need to think about it. So just black doesn't care about the beetle. Okay, you just go on top of your on top of the eye. Who cares? I have three fantastic hands ready to pin whatever you play. Um, so as we were discussing before, white has a tiny advantage starting. Uh, but it's very um, like the advantage can, can can finish very very easily as well. Um, so playing with the beat with the beetle, it is dangerous and it is something you have to take into account because once it covers your queen or covers your pill bug there's no there's no way back uh, but at the same time it's a kind of a slower technique so 
playing play your hands as many as you can. Um, so let's decide to go with the beetle on top. Quadribat plays here. What's the idea? Um, hmm. So one idea would be to maybe I'm not sure to because this is a kind of a weird position for the beetle uh, because usually you won't go on top of the hive but you want to reach the enemy queen um, so it means it will take one two three four turns but in this case uh, let's say white plays well let's say he plays a kind of neutral move something like uh, like this um, black can play here and basically take advantage of the fact that this is a spider if it was a, a ladybug it would easily go here and it would probably be not that good for white for, for black but in this case white doesn't have much choice with this spider it can go let's say here and yeah this beetle spin but it's very easy to release it so play for example grasshopper here well yeah one two three no okay it gets pinned but uh, you you understand what i mean once this is when you once black plays anything here then his beetle is just next to the white queen um so it's a kind of weird position but maybe in this case i've never seen this kind of position before like i mean with a um, with a spider um some some players use a spider but it's less common because as i said if you if you play anything here um the ladybug has way more m much much more choice um compared to the spider um but on the other end the, the idea of the of this uh, is just okay i sacrifice a spider because um, it's eff effectively the weakest piece, and um, I'm going. I'm gonna use all my pieces, good pieces later. Um, I don't like much the strategy, but but it's possible. It's it's hard. It's still hard to play. Um, another comment about this. So one thing you usually learn at the beginning is that don't put all your pieces in line. Uh, because once you pinned one of them, then all the of them gets pinned. So it seems quite it seems quite silly. Why why it would play this? And it, I I thought exactly the same thing. Even when I played the first year in the championship, um, so three years ago, that I was already not a beginner, but um, like I was still learning. But I had a, a idea of the strategy. It seems very silly, but. There is an idea behind it that I will explain soon. Okay, so black plays exactly what I was thinking. Um, well, I can't explain anymore my idea because the, probably the white hand will move. But the thing is, as I said, one of the technique to remove, to, to neutralize the pill bug is to use your mosquito next to the pill bug and drag it out. Uh, but if the pill bug is pin itself, so it's self pinned, um, then you can't remove it anymore. So this is one idea. So the pill bug is anchored to the to the queen. <laughs> um, this is why it's a, a good idea. Um, also, putting all these three pieces in line compared to putting them um, as an elbow, so like this bent angle. Um, you have more like choice where to I think you have one more hexagon where to place uh, your pieces so let's say you play, you play here you have one two three four five six seven eight okay if you play here no I think it's the same one two three four five six seven eight okay so the difference is actually in after the after the pin so if you play here uh, you have then one two three four five places spots you play here and this pinned 
then you have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, not the same number of spots. Um, sorry if I. Okay, this 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 is not the idea. Um, <laughs> the idea is that um, you have better quality, not not more spaces, but but be better places where to put your pieces. Um, but like this is playable as well. It's not. Um, it's actually it's not clear which of the two is better. Uh, the idea was mainly, as I said, to anchor the pillbug. Okay, sorry, I wasted a few minutes talking about this. Uh, how's, the, how's the game going? Uh, so why it's why I decide to pin the ant here? Okay, as we said, now the beetle covered the queen, but it cannot place directly anything here. So the only advantage of this attack is to stop the queen from moving uh, and stop like the pillbug to remove the queen to go to 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 place it to in another safe hexagon. Um, Lloyd skip placing the ants here. Um, usually, when you put in line. Uh, is worse than than as a elbow because at the, in this case at least the the bug that is in the middle can be released if you place something here. Um, well, in this case, it's not possible. I mean, you need two bugs to release this central one. Um, but 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 but. There's another idea, as I said, but I'm not sure. I, I can't think of it now. Um, the other idea in this case, or the other case, is that you can play another... Whites can play here something and create another pocket. Not in this case, because the beetle is already here, so it doesn't matter. But in general, when you play and this band configuration um, and you play a fourth one to create a pocket that's useful um, but as the beetle is already here white thinks is not something necessary uh, is there anyone left probably is a bit long but I will keep doing it and then upload the video in case someone wants to have a look at it. Uh, okay, so black has played here. The idea is to use it as a beetle, but at the same time, he leaves the yeah, he leaves it, the queen, the black queen, undefended. Um, so we'll see. Um, in this case is where both players attack um, you have to basically count it's like a race and you have to count very carefully because only one move behind and then it's game over of course um, there used to be I, I've read some comments e maybe a year or two ago um, where there was a variant like where to balance the first player advantage if um, if black can so if let's say white uh, covers the last spot of black queen around black queen um, but black also in the very next move can cover the last spot around the white queen then it's a draw um, so that black can actually at least have a draw or I think it was some similar variant uh, but I don't think we need to change the rules in that way because um, as we saw in the previous game black has enough resources and these are like two, two of the best players on the planet as far as we know so um, if black c can do it here you can do it as well. Um, so black can can directly drop now here and here. Um, 
while the white cannot drop anything directly and this and also has these three ends all um, all paint so it seems a bit silly but okay no Lois hasn't played this move yet but let's say he played this one um, Um, white needs to put a bug here somehow uh, to attack um, but as soon as he does um, these two ants get released or if plays a bug here creates a ring and these two ants are released again um, so even if it plays here like it moves a bug here and then here um, let's say let's let's try like a kind of concrete variation. Let's say here. Um, if white goes here now, also the black ladybug is released. Um, if it plays here, now we have uh, this black ant is free to move. And at the same time, there's still this like a free spot here, so black has its chances, definitely. Um, it's hard to calculate everything. Uh, I will just use my intuition, and I think black has a very good counterplay. Um, but we'll see. How, how this? How, what? What happened? Oops. Oh. And okay. This. 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 Okay. Played. Okay. Black plus plays a spider here. So white decides to use the beetle to cover the the ladybug, because he can't use it for dark drop anymore. So at least it stops the ladybug to get out. Black continues to place the beetle here, like to attack the queen um, white probably keep attacking, seems a bit seems a bit uh, rush um, yeah, I think Lloyd's has to think about this because black has only two spots to, to cover and yeah and let's say he plays here black just plays here this is lost for for white so definitely this ring to be is very useful so Lloyd has not played there but I just just play here okay how black is gonna um, cover oops cover this uh, spots so I would what I would do I like this idea for example to play something here as you see another disadvantage of playing the spider would probably come soon so if white, black plays here spider any move of white well, no, not any move, but I mean, it needs. Oops, no, sorry, what, what have I done? Uh, it needs to. White needs to neutralize this mosquito, because that, if it doesn't, this mosquito will just move. Let's say place here. It will just move here, and then drop here, and the, the other beetle dropping here win. Um, okay, he doesn't play the spider there, but he plays a grasshopper. I think the idea is the same. It's basically the same. Um, let's see. Quality best now is to think. So if if it plays as as we said, um, I would play here. I definitely would play here. Seems very strong. Uh, but probably there are other good moves like this one. Yeah. So white would probably cover the mosquito here. No, okay. Lloyd's keep attacking, keeps attacking. 
reckless um, mm, I think yeah things are becoming quite shady for for white I'm not optimistic for Luis um, so white needs to, to neutralize well this beetle is hard to cover but this mosquito can be covered right now um, but no probably Lois doesn't want to um, and then there are other two spots one of them um, two spots left one of them will be covered by the beetle okay so Lloyd said in the chat uh, good game so I think he realized that the situation is quite desperate and sorry there is a probably a fourth sequence here um, Hmm. No, sorry. I'm I'm stupid. The good game was at the beginning. I think of the game it was intended as have a good game, um, but I read it right now and I thought it was good game. They usually say at the end when you know your position is lost. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, so. This grasshopper has to be pinned, of course, because otherwise it just drops here, and then the beetle, there's no way to stop it, so why it has to act now. Um, it can't use these two hands, because any of the two, um, both of them are pinning an important bug that can just go in one of these two spaces so basically has to use the, the mosquito somehow you he, he played here um, another interesting idea that we'll pr he will probably use now is using the pill bug in attack and <coughs> this is something that doesn't happen very often but what happens is very satisfying um, the idea is that, okay, once you play here, white has to pin it. Um, and actually, he doesn't even need that. Why, sorry, why not play here? I'm not playing here. I think that wins. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, but I would just play mosquito here and I don't see anything white can do actually not really um, but yeah you can also use the, the pill bag um, somehow say here mm. also something like this um so now white has to so the pillback can couldn't move the ant straight away because it was just moved in the previous turn but now it can so it has to kind of self pin itself sorry my uh, forgive my my english um he has to be self pin so that the pillback cannot move it, um, but you self pin your hand, which is one of your most important pieces, especially in this situation. And after playing this one, you have two free ants, and there's not much to do. But let's see, because Quadribat is still thinking. Not sure. I'm missing something. Where is the? The queen bee. The queen bee is here, so the black queen bee is kind of safe. White needs to worry about the the black. Uh, but what's yeah? Quadribat is still thinking. 
Okay. Mm. It's taking a lot of time, I don't know why. Um, I maybe just want to be sure not to blunder. <laughs> um, just in case. I think it's still. I mean, you have 20 minutes, as I said. Or oh, 15 or 20 minutes, I'm not sure. And Kodilibat has used only 3 minutes more than his opponent. Quadlibet has, has been thinking for 14 minutes and Lloyd's for 12 minutes, roughly. So, it's, it's perfectly okay to, to think a bit more. Um, but I think anyway, there's not much to do for white now. Mm. What is this blade? Um, sorry, uh, Frank, I, I, Frank, I just uh, read it. So this is played online on boardspace.net. Um, one of the player is from Chile, one other, another one, uh, uh, um, Quadlibet is from Chile, Lois is from Brazil. Um, so they are in the same time zone, but uh, each of them is playing uh, somewhere in their own place. <laughs> um, we have no idea where. Um, I'm sorry if I look at at, the, at your comments too late. Um, but I'm not. I don't have the Facebook page open all the time. Um, okay, so the pillbag idea. Um, I don't think was the only one, but. is is quite uh, effective um, so so yeah Lloyd's attacked first in this game uh, pinning the the black queen but I think he didn't organize his pieces um, as well as he thought and especially considering the, the first white spider uh, that's something I think you need to have a kind of a more complicated, no, sorry, a more defined plan um, because otherwise it's, it's hard to 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 play. Of course, also black played very well, and you can play with white spider and win many games, of course. Um, but in this case, between two very strong players, they know what they're doing. White spider is it's tricky. Let's say it's tricky. Okay. And now yeah. Lloyd's pin the pill back and quadribet play instantly <laughs> the grasshopper. <laughs> and there's nothing to do now. Ah, well no. Yeah, no, there's nothing to do. I think Lois was thinking about this variation, like, oh, okay, I play this, I play this, and I covered the beetle, except that this other grasshopper can just go here and win. So that doesn't work. I don't think anything works in this situation. Because white will need to um neutralize two different threats. Um the grasshopper, one of these two grasshoppers plus the beetle and doesn't have time. It's just too late. So again, the black ants are very important at the beginning because you have to be able to neutralize your opponents bugs when you can but as soon as you place other pieces that achieve some goals some they have other functions um, depending on the situation these are like a threatening ants but they've never been used it's just to scare white let's say um, and and in this game it worked well 
But in general, yeah, try to use your ants. Also, I didn't say you can actually see the cursor where your the player is, where both players are using their, their moving their mouse around, um, which I don't think is very fair. But well, and when you play real life, you see if your hand that your opponent's hand moves. So maybe maybe it's okay. Um, also, you can change the move before you you press the button done you can change the move as many times as you want it's not like when you play live like in chess usually there is a uh, touch move so if you touch a piece then you have to move it in this case um, well, you can touch any piece you want okay so just like it's resigned okay uh, so quite a bit one the fourth game, uh, so at the moment is tied 2-2 two, two, and there are two more games to play. I don't think they're gonna play today. Um, let's see what they say. Um, so wait a second in case they're gonna play another one. I don't think so though because they've played already one, in, one hour and 20 minutes. Um, they probably want to all games won by black yes that's also another interesting fact in this um, this semi-final in this match Lois quadly but four games out of four have been won by black um, that is as I was as I said a few times I know I, I always say the same things but <laughs> Um, I think it's interesting to know that white advantage is is not as big as you might think, uh, but it takes very little for black to to counteract if it's not um, to counterattack if white is not precise. So they are talking about uh, continue next Sunday. Or Wednesday, we'll see. Um, so if it's another time that I can actually do, because of course it depends on the, on my availability, or if someone like Patrick or someone in the group um, with some experience wants to wants to try um, streaming, that would be awesome. I just did it because I, I love the game and I think more people should uh, know about it and I think this was a nice way to... I hope it was entertaining I mean, I, the first time I really do this thing and I... and I... yeah I don't... you know, when, when you stream live and you have to... you, you need to have like good acting and improvising uh, skills uh, that I don't have especially in, in my second language that is English my first language is Italian okay so yeah they decide to play the next games uh, next week so I think we can stop the streaming here I hope you liked it maybe we can rewatch quickly the game uh, since, since we are here Let's see how, how did it go? Did, um, no, we can just actually open the the lobby. Sorry. Let's go here. It's been just played, so yeah, it's already here. So lights open with a spider. Quadlibet um, opens with a classic ladybug and mosquito and formation. Black leaves white um, attacking with the beetle and places all its ants um, ready to defend. The spider, uh, the, the sorry, the black beetle can go into that position because of the of the spider basically. Um, so it's very convenient for black in this situation. He wouldn't be if it was a ladybug, as I said. 
um, so that black can go on top of the on of the queen of the white queen, um, which seems a small victory, but there is a second beetle getting on top of the hive. So basically here it could have stopped the second mosquito to go on top of the hive. It might have been better actually. Because this beetle is already, the white beetle is already on top of the hive, can go on the black queen um, whenever it wants basically. It was more important to stop the beetle. But, but um, Lloyd's doesn't. And so now Quadribet has two beetles one mosquito beetle on top of the hive and can place directly on two spots while white can only place on one spot and then that's it and then it's hard for for white to cover all the other or the other hexagons here um, especially because of this gate and this ants ready to be released once this ring is formed and here is basically I wouldn't say it's already too late, but yeah, it's very hard to, to suggest something. So it, it was kind of a short game. Um, be careful with your uh, with your beetle with your opponent's beetles, um, and don't attack um, too fast. If if you don't have a clear plan, so okay, it's okay having a beetle on top of the hive, but then you need to think how to cover all the six spots. And um, if it's slow for you, uh, and for your opponent is faster, you have to count. Just have to count. Um, okay. Yeah, it seems easy. You just have to count. I know it's not it's not easy, but um, we learn. We learn. Okay. Thanks everyone, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will upload this soon on uh, hopefully on YouTube or anyway um, probably you can rewatch it here if you want to for other people who were not in the who were not watching it live um, and hopefully I'll do it again next time um, maybe next Sunday oh, no they were thinking about playing Tuesday or Wednesday but um, in those days is, it will be hard for me if they play next time they'll probably do it again or for other games we'll see thanks again bye bye hope you had fun and keep playing hive if you have the question just uh, let me know bye bye